What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my level up. Sorry about that. But one second. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let's see. Get this cleared all. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh. All right. Much better. Much better. Sorry about that, guys. That was my vision last week. It was horrible. I couldn't make any content. I couldn't watch anything. I couldn't play no video games. It was the worst. But I went to the doctor, got everything fixed up. So let's level up. What's up, gamers? I'm John. And this is my level up news, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web, so you don't have to. Today's Monday, April 8th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. In the thrilling world of Helldivers 2, players have achieved a resounding victory by wiping out the menacing Automaton faction. The recent operation, aptly named Swift Assembly, spanned three intense days during which players battle on bot health planets like Maya, Durgin, and Tibbet. With Durgin's fall, the bots are officially beaten, but hold on to your helmets. There's more to come. Helldivers 2 dynamic storytelling orchestrated by GM Joel promises twists, surprise, and real stakes. While the automatons are defeated, keep an eye out for the elusive Illuminate faction of Helldivers 1. They might just make a dramatic entrance. Buckle up, Helldivers, because this galaxy isn't safe. In the gaming universe, No Man's Sky has achieved a remarkable feat. Head honcho Shane Murray recently celebrated the game's climb to 78% positive reviews in all Steam reviews. But here's a twist. Each percentage point becomes exponentially harder to earn as more reviews roll in. With nearly 224,000 reviews under its belt after 8 years, No Man's Sky's needle barely budges. While an 80% score should be symbolic for the once embattled space sim, it's not essential for Hello Games. The game's redemption arc is well known and it's already sold like hotcakes. For smaller devs, positive reviews and wish lists are lifelines, cutting through the noise of all new releases. As we await for their next project, Light No Fire, let's hope it's a straight shot to acclaim no redemption needed. Xbox is making waves. After teasing a groundbreaking new generations of hardware, they formed a dedicated team for game preservation. Xbox president Sarah Bond confirmed their commitment to preserving existing Xbox games for future generations. In an internal memo, she emphasized their impressive achievements in the past six months and their relentless pursuit of the biggest technology leap ever. When it comes to Hellblade 2, Players won't find an abundance of graphical or performance options. Unlike many games in this generation, which typically offer two settings, one prioritizing performance and other prioritizing visuals, Hellblade 2 takes a different approach. According to GamePro, the game will run at 30 frames per second on both Xbox Series S and X. This uniformity is unusual as the Series X usually outperforms its counterpart without significant fidelity. The only version that can exceed 30 frames per second is the PC edition. Through, players will need a powerful rig to achieve it. While the news isn't shocking, Ninja Theory has consistently emphasized visual fidelity over performance in their marketing for Hellblade 2. Let's hope that these stunning visuals captivate players, even those who lean towards performance mode. The game is set to release on May 21st for Xbox Series S, X, and PC, so mark your calendars. Microsoft is rubbing up for an exciting June showcase. According to The Verge's Tom Warren, it's going to be the gamer's dream. Brace yourself for a brand new Gears of War title alongside announcements for a fresh Call of Duty and release dates for Avowed and Indiana Jones. But that's not all. Microsoft's strategic gears are turning and they're elevating bringing more of their games to PS5 and Switch consoles. Cyberpunk 2077 still holds secrets waiting to be unearthed. Despite years of exploration by players, hidden easter eggs remain tucked away within the game's digital cityscape. Imagine stumbling upon a mysterious phone number while navigating the neon lit streets of Night City, a number that perhaps holds the key to an dynamic quest or a hidden treasure. Perhaps some lone gamer huddled in the virtual apartment has glimpsed these elusive easter eggs without ever revealing their existence to the world. And here's the burning question, will these hidden gems be discovered before the sequel to Cyberpunk 2077 arrives? As this game development continues, 
fan remains on the hunt, their curiosity fueled by the promise of uncharted mysteries wanting to be cracked open. So grab your controller, load up your cyber deck, and dive back into the neon soak labyrinth because the adventure isn't over. And with that bundle well, of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out. Mm -hmm.